And then, uh, so September 11th happened, and I was a reservist, and I decided I was going to go active duty after I graduated. You know, uh, went and deployed to Iraq in 2004. Um, the military interests me. Was it tanks? I don't know. I mean, it was just it seemed like fun. <laughs> you know, there's no other no other way. And then when you get there, right, you realize that there's um, high levels of meaning right and the things that you enjoy the most but there's also high levels of pain and sorrow and like any other experience you know and you have to if you really love somebody or something right you take all of that stuff and you okay with it take care of your team you know that's that's critical it's always it's always important to remember why you're fighting it ain't because of the politics of other people you know it's because you got people next to you who are willing to give up and sacrifice as much as you. And so you don't want that to be a needless thing. So take care of your team. And then the, the final part is, you know, I mean, whatever God or whatever thing you believe in, you know, you gotta hold those things close. The question is, have you done the proper preparation, right? To make sure that your transition is successful. And if you have not done that, and you have three months left in, what does that look like and how can both I, the military, and social service agencies help you with that transition. But it's critical for you to ask those very tough questions because nobody else in this world is going to ask them for you. And when they do ask those questions and when they do do their due diligence, right, then our nation needs to be ready for them.